What, yeah. are, what are you in the world do you need all these tools for? Because I work in a lot of different mediums. Oh. And I'm old. I've collected them over the years. So is that an old easel you used to use? That's an easel I use when I paint large. Oh. This is a beauty. And below it I'm working on linoleum is an illustration of a linoleum cut. Well, this whole area here, which is just white paint, yeah. I just carved this in here. But I needed something light on this side. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this area is unresolved at the moment I added that. The carving element is uh, very good for frustration for me, too. At well, this that's time. interesting. But you have control over paint. No? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. At this age, I do. Yeah. At this age, you. At this age of experience, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else's oil painting that I inherited. Oh, for heaven's sake! And uh, she had some encaustic areas in it and some waxy discs and stuff. So when I pull, pulled them off, <laughs> you know, I found these empty circles and oh, with heaven's some of the sake. wax left over. But it looks nothing like hers. You know, the thing that impresses me, I don't know how you do this. I really don't, because, now here's a painting that is, that is as complex as 20 paintings I would make. Yeah, and yet it, it has a wholeness about it. It doesn't seem fragmented. That's, that's is the that a goal. conscious? That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, always. <clears throat> that looks like it would take at least a month, if not six months of work. Well, I'm pretty fast. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's why I do a lot of, and I work a lot, so you know I get a lot done. Mm -hmm. you, you do you do exercise some discipline in how you organize yourself. Oh yeah, you have to. You have to be disciplined in the uh, organization, or else you're, you know, you'll get lost. But here we have three spaces. You have this easel on which you're working. I have many. Spaces. You have this table. table, drafting table, that you took from somewhere, and then you have. Oh, it's another drafting table. Another drafting table. That's my light. Uh -huh. so just to give me a little extra to turn on, or yeah, it just gives me like that pop of uh, Ooh, light that, that I need. That's a lot of light. Yeah, I need it, you know, because I've worked very detailed. But they seem so different than your other work. I know. I I got. I have a few different personalities. Now. Yes. Yes. So, how long have you been a schizophrenic? Oh, my life. <laughs> and getting worse, I think. It is interesting that that the works are so radically different. Yeah. I mean, if I said, who did this and did whoever did this, did they? Oh, here we are right here. Look at this. Look at this one. Yeah. And look at that one. Right. You know, they're very different. These are more of the same. This is my... Uh, this is sort of part of this series. This you, well, these are all series. panels. There, there's heavy dimensionality in that, too, in addition to complexity. Right. That's not flat like these others. No, well, none of these are. These all have that Venetian oh, plaster surface on them. So what, what, why, what, what does that give you that painting flat doesn't? Uh, it feeds my sculptural side. Ah. Also, the, the dimensionality is... Is it's it's like beyond brush heavy brush strokes. Yeah, it's all pretty flat, but uh, it's, the dimensionality comes from color and uh, uh, different hues and Jesus values of colors. It's really just it's almost overwhelming. I've got hundreds and hundreds of work in this web. Hundreds of pieces of work. Hundreds of work. Hundreds of watercolors, prints, everything in those flat files. Oh, in the file. In the file. I what she needs is a day off, maybe. No, no, not anymore. No? No. This is my, this is, this is it. It's so, my life. Yeah. Especially now. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. That's you know, what, my motto has been since the beginning, if you can't go out, go in deeper. And it's been, it's proven to keep me sane to be cool. here every day and work, 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 work. That's Constantly. Good. And it's not like it's work, it's, it's. Yeah, it's a part of my life, you know. So it's, it's it's infinitely interesting to me. Yeah, but this is it's really a treat, you know. This people who see this are really going to appreciate you in a way that they can't by just seeing a piece of work.
I'm own afraid stuff. of my own stuff when yeah. I need to. Just a matter of economy or a matter of preference or economy both? and preference. Yeah. You know, I yeah. don't frames are expensive. I try to avoid the frame at all costs. Yeah. And glass especially. These these four from here to here. Well I faux finish some of the frames. I faux finish the frames or I have uh -huh. old frames that I uh, resurrect. Those two are examples of, you know, vintage frames that needed repair and repainting. So that's kind of fun too. That's yes. its own thing. It took you 40 years, 40 years to watch what to, to, It took me 40 years to make that painting because I needed, you know, I needed to know how to, I needed to know how to do it. You know, that's no. like the the answer these days. Well, that really is the answer. Now you said that you have lots of stuff in these drawers. Right. Why don't you let me see one of them? Okay. So in this drawer, I have uh, a box of prints. I have linoleum prints. This is all monetized. original work. It's all original work. I don't do any. Um, I have things that I need to carry further. I've got linoleum prints that I sell. I've got monotypes. You know, I've got so much stuff. I've got watercolors. I've got old stone lithographs. Jeez. You know, paintings that I've got half half done. I've got silk screens in here. All paper. Show me one that you think is half done. You know, this one's half done. I mean, it could be done, but I, for me, it's I needs more definition. So, it's Where? a monotype. Where? I don't know yet. That's why it's sitting in the drawer. Because when I when I figure it out, I'll I'll work on it. But these are monotypes too that I've been doing all winter, and they've been kind of an exercise in uh, uh, opening up my mind to different images to remake the world this is probably going to be part of a COVID piece at some point i have more information but it'll be a large piece how did that get those words get on top of that image? that was a, a transfer uh, from a magazine onto a jelly plate but it didn't all transfer so i had to actually create some of the letters again like that's a jelly plate transfer that kind of came out these uh -huh. are images from a magazine with uh -huh. acrylic paint on a gelatin plate and some of them come out pretty well, like the first time. You know, there's like yeah. this is this transfer is all from a World of Interiors magazine, with Gothic. Uh -huh. But it's you transfer it onto the plate and then you pull the image off with more acrylic paint and paper. That raven over there started as a silk screen, and then I did an acrylic painting over top of it. I had many of those ravens. Yes, then, I know you do. But they're all silk screens, and then when they weren't uh, good. On their own as silk screens, I added paint on top. These are acrylic fluid paints, golden fluid acrylics, and they're on clay board. I've scratched out some of the areas that I consider sort of dirty or I need more light. I can scratch out the white to come back. I have one last question. Okay. What do you want to do when you grow up? Uh, sell more paintings. <laughs> <laughs>